Oh. Uh, good morning. I hope you're doing very, very, very well. This morning could have been a way rougher morning for me than it was. You'll have, you'll have to excuse all the, the bird song. And there's a goat, like way over there, that's real pissed off about something, or really happy about it. Let's say he's really, she, let's say it's really happy about something instead of angry. It's very vocal. So, Yesterday, I drove into Louisville, it was a couple hours away. To visit my dad, and he's, he had surgery again, and he's in a, a rehab place, not, not drugs rehab. A surgery recovery place um, that's another story so he's really strong willed um, shock I came from strong willed people um, sorry my mind went away um, so he was really like dead set that he would not go to a recovery place. I think it's because my grandfather passed away in one and he's just like, no, if you go there, it's death. And if you're above the age of like 50, um, if you go to one of those, you just die in them. And it's like, that's not the case, but he just always felt like it. So even though he's had like tons of major surgeries, um, he's always refused to go to those. So we had surgery again and my mom was like really upset that he wouldn't go to one of those places again and this was whenever he was still in the hospital so I I was in town to tile my sister's floor which sounds somehow dirty um because she just moved in or is moving into a new house and so I was in town and, well, I mean, I would have gone and seen him if it, even if I hadn't been in town. Sorry, I'm scat. I'm more scared than usual. It's first thing in the morning. Um, so I stopped by when I, I and saw him when I was by myself and I had heard through my family grapevine that yet again, he was refusing to go to one of these places. And I was like, why? Um, because this time he can't put any weight on his leg for like the foreseeable future. Um, and so like, how is he going to get around the house? How is he going to do stuff? My mom has a bad bag. She can't really help him. So just like, just why, just why not just go? And he was like, well, I have things to do. Like I have, uh, webinars and I'm like, I'm sure they have the internet. Like it would. It just doesn't really make sense to not do it. And then the uh, the release nurse made the mistake of coming inside um, the room while I was there. I could see my dad be like, shit, this is like the worst thing that could happen while Lindsay's sitting right here. So she was talking to him about like, no, what it's gonna look like when he gets released. And like, are you sure you don't wanna go to one of those? the recovery place and he's like no <laughs> and I spoke up and I was like so is this something that like the doctor is uh really strongly telling him he needs to do and he's just like not doing it and she was like yes <laughs> and I looked at my dad and I was like because he always told us like oh it's just you know a suggestion like the doctors are just suggesting it I don't have to or I was like, okay. But I just so happened to be there whenever she was there. And 
you know, I was like, he was like, I don't want to. I was like, I just felt you doing things you don't want to do. Um, <laughs> I just felt like a parent. Um, he's not like, so, he's, he's not cognitively not there. So it's like, it's not to the point where like, I really need to be his parent. But um, I was, this is silly. You're being silly. Do it. Um, and he was like, meh. And the nurse was like, I'll, f or like the release person was like, I'll find out if they have high speed internet, if there's like somewhere you can work and stuff. And he was like, okay. And then like a couple days went by. I, kn I he got moved. He agreed to do it. And then he got moved to the facility. And then I called my mom after he was there. I hadn't talked to her in a couple of days. And she was like, have you, he did it. He did it. I have you to thank for it. And I was like, shit. I like, I didn't tell her that I had worked on him with it because I wanted him to, I wanted her to think that she had finally like broke, broken through something in his mind. And that's why he had agreed to do it. But I guess he told her that I did it. Um, so I was like, you could have just let mom have the win, you know? Um, you know, fuck, finally, finally, he's at one of those places. So I went to it yesterday. Um, that was a tangent. Um, and I stepped inside and it was like a really nice hotel. Like they have long-term care for elderly people too, but it is, but they also have like a wing that's recovery from surgery. So, sorry, I just saw a chipmunk. <laughs> Ch chipmunk. Um, so I went, like, there was no one at the front desk, which looked like a hotel lobby. There was, like, it looked like a continental breakfast area, but it's not like it was a hotel that was repurposed. This building is brand new, and it was built like this. Um, but it just looked like a really nice hotel with, like, hallways where the rooms would be and um where are, are but like where hotel rooms would be but there are no locks on any of the doors it's just a like an open hotel and so i i went in i found his room i was like this is amazing he was like this is amazing um so i sat visited with him my sister came we hung out with him for a while and then we left um I went to her house. There was some. There were some places where I I used this new kind of grout that I had never used before on the tile, um, and it had sunk as it dried. I think it's because the lines were so low and like, so much moisture left. Anyway, I needed to do a thin skim coat over all of it again to really finish it off and level everything off. So I did that, and then it was like. I was alone. My mom had my daughter because she's alone. Because my mom's alone and really wanted company and asked for her, so I was like, I have nothing to do. Like I could, I could stay in Louisville longer. Or I could just go home alone to the woods. <laughs> and I was like, you know, Amanda, um, we've never played blackjack together. <laughs> and she was like, No, we haven't. she's never played blackjack so I was like new people are very good luck for me uh I mean I guess I could be a good, a good adult and like go home um or we could go to the casino and play blackjack and she's just so not a casino person which I don't think I really am either I just really like playing blackjack and so we just got in the car and went to go play blackjack and we each I was like, okay, we go to the bathroom, <laughs> we go to the ATM, we uh, get a, each get one beer and one water, and then we find a table with a dealer that <laughs> uh, looks friendly and like good vibe, good vibe dealer, and then sit down and like do exactly what I tell you to. And she was like, okay. <laughs> and so we sat down and I was like mumbling, um, or whispering, no, no mumbling, whispering, hit it, pass, like, because on the way there, I explained to her with, like, hitting it, or, like, 
um, leaving it, um, doubling things, splitting things, um, basic blackjack things. But there are so many combinations of cards. Um, I just couldn't really tell her what to do if she has this, if that, if the dealer has this. And like, she kept forgetting what bus cards were and stuff. So for a while, I was just watching both hands and like, you know, doing what I did, but like not really even paying attention to my hand, but telling her what she needs to do. And then like a, like a parent pushing a, pushing the back of a child's bicycle and then the kid starts pedaling for itself and then, you know, you're no longer holding it. <laughs> uh, and the kid's like, ah, oh, like I'm doing it all myself. Like that's, that's exactly what happened with her. Uh, then she started like knowing and she was like, I, I hit it down there. Like, I'm like, yeah, good, good job. And then she was like, just there for, I was just there for moral support and she was great. Um, but she had work this morning. So like we had decided we needed to leave by 10 because I still had a two hour drive back home and I didn't feel like staying in Louisville. And I was like, before we even went, I was like, you know, when 10 o'clock comes around, you're not going to want to leave, but we should leave. And she was like, okay. Cause I don't think she really believed me she would like it that much. Um, so like at 9.30, uh, she was like loving it and we stopped and went to the restroom and like when we came out she was I was like like are you ready to go and she was like this is my job now she was like I love this this is this is my job like <laughs> I was like fuck I made a monster um but she, she I think she was I think she was getting um she also lives way closer to the casino than I do so hopefully I haven't really unleashed something um, we saw these women walking around with these buckets, like this big plastic, bright yellow buckets. And we were like, where are these buckets from? And there were drinks. And they were like, oh, they have the buckets. They have buckets at the, at the bar. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> And they were like Long Island iced teas, which are such a dangerous drink to drink because you don't really taste the alcohol. Um, so, I mean, it was like, I want a bucket. I was like, fuck, I want a bucket too. <laughs> so we went and we got buckets. And there's a lot, a lot of good choices happening in a, in a row. Um, and then we sat down. Oh wait, no, I watched the bartender make the buckets because I was like, how much alcohol is actually in these? Because I am a lightweight. Like, I will feel one beer. I will feel half a beer. I'm like, shit, if I'm not, if there's any chance of me not like trying to get a comp room and going home tonight, I need to like pay very close attention to what is going in this. So I watched like with a little, you know, vodka gun and he, the bartender had led both buckets and he held it over this one for that long. And then he went over to the, it was like he got mentally distracted over one of them and then went to the other one. And it was just like two, like count of two or three. And I was like, fuck, one of those buckets has like six shots in it. And one of them has one. Um, and then he brought the, brought the buckets from the alcohol station over and like got two cans of, oh no, no, we, there were three drinks. It wasn't a uh, Long Island iced tea. We opted for the pineapple and like orange vodka one or something. And he took the pineapple can, uh, and poured them in. Uh, the one that had the shitload of shots in it became full with the with the small pineapple juice the other one was like way below the ice like when he poured the pineapple juice said like you couldn't even see that there was liquid in it like that's how full of vodka this one was and then he like added sprite to like like this one was just like an obligatory like it's supposed to have sprite in it so i'm gonna spray it over the ice real quick but before it overflows and then this was like held there to fill it up the rest of the way and he put them in front of us. And I was like, 
okay and we bought them and I was like Amanda this this one has so much alcohol in it and this one does not uh, and she can handle alcohol like no one's business the chipmunk is over there now <laughs> And she was like, okay, I'll take the really, really, really strong one. And I was like, fuck, like, <laughs> mm. um, and is used to going out and stuff. I am not. And I was like, okay, well, I'll take the weak one. She was like, I don't have to drink all of it. And I was like, yeah, like famous last words. I just don't see this going well. So anyway, we take our buckets. And I, just like perfunctory, like I just got us each a water, like <laughs> just to, to do it. Because whenever I'm playing, I always like to have a drink and a water. For every drink you have a water, but I mean, she would have had to drink so much water to uh, go along with her bucket. We sat down, we started playing and I was like, I feel like this is a really bad idea. Um, because I'm old and <laughs> I've made so many choices exactly like this before and I know that I'm gonna end up regretting it so regret starts eating at me and I'm like this is just like I feel responsible for her she's only here because of me um I bought well I bought both buckets like I I'm in this this is my fault um I know she has to work tomorrow. The worst thing we could have, well, not the worst thing that could happen, because I won't drink and drive or get in someone's car who's been drinking. So I'm like, what is gonna happen is we're gonna end up spending the night at this hotel and we're gonna wake up at like 6 a.m. and be like, fuck. So I leaned over to her, I was like, should we just go home? Which really just makes me sound very cool in this video, but that's what happened. And she was like, we just got buckets and I was like we did just get buckets but I was like I think we should throw them away and we should go home and she was like so we stepped away from the table and I just I'm not normally an asshole that throws like a full thing of liquid away like in a trash can um for the maintenance people to clean up but there were no water fountains or anything and I just took the whole bucket and I just I just put it in the trash can. Uh, I mean, they were both still like so full. We had each had one swallow of each one. Um, and then she was like, <laughs> cause I just threw this full thing away. And she was like, okay. And then she threw her bucket away. She looked scandalized I threw away liquid and I kind of was too, but it's a lot better than consuming it and making everyone deal with that. Um, and then we went home and I was a good grown up and I'm proud of that. But how many times bad choices have had to be made for me to want to do that? I'm sure she was grateful when she woke up in her bed this morning but she loved blackjack. She, we played for hours and she was only, I think she was less than $50 down. I was like a hundred dollars down because I really wasn't paying attention to what I was doing really. I was just focused on her, but very worth the hours of fun that we had together. And she loved, and just seeing, seeing how like stoic and so she'd be like, if she didn't like, if she didn't want to hit it, like the way she she would hit the it was it was so cute and I loved it and I loved that she was willing to try um, something that I like it is just not really something she's ever been into and just really happy that she liked it and I was like on a Friday or Saturday night when we go ahead and have a room lined up and we are like set here and we don't have to go anywhere else or do anything the next day we can get multiple buckets. It's fine. Like we, we can just sit at the table. No, we want, we don't even have to get waters. Like we can just sit at the table. Let's not be crazy. We'll still have waters. It's like we can have multiple buckets. We can run around this place, cause havoc everywhere. 
um, find you a husband. <laughs> she, when we were getting ready to go, she was like, I'm going to go find me a husband. And I was like, maybe not at the casino since everyone's like 80 and dragging around oxygen. But um, it was funny. It was really funny. There's also a guy that was like hardcore checking her out. And he would look at me and he would look at her. And I think he was trying to decide if we were sisters or lovers. <laughs> and I should have been like, should have But he was very young. He was probably 10 years younger than us. Which is about right. Amanda likes him a little young, but a lot young. She likes them younger, I like them older, but it doesn't matter. But it was really fun. And I'm, I'm proud that, <laughs> I'm proud that I didn't make a complete fucking mess of myself last night. <laughs> Even my little, like, one, one and a half shot bucket, like, I would have fucking felt that. And there is zero chance that if she had drank that whole bucket, that we would have ended up coming home last night. So that's good. And I got to visit my dad. And I finished her floors, so. Man, it's been in the 90s here. It's supposed to be in the 90s with no rain all next all this I guess next it's not all this week um I'm gonna go today my plan for today is to go finish putting green boards on the house which is essential before the actual roofing goes on for the metal roofing and the soffit and everything so that has to be done And where it is, we'll be in direct sunlight all day. I'm going to get so warm. Firefly. Normally I don't notice them during the day because their little butts aren't lighting up, but there it is. Only like 75 right now. Woodpecker. Multiple woodpeckers. So right now I'm just hanging out, enjoying the calm before the storm of just, just a massive heat index and look something that needs to be done if I want to live in my house, my new house, which I do, as much as I love the adorable cabin. I need to work on it. Oh, so we were, I had just finished laying, I mean, finishing the grout yesterday. Uh, I'm, or no, I was halfway through it, this part. I was outside, like, rinsing out a bucket. And Amanda was inside working on her computer at her new house. And I, I looked, I'm, I know there's stuff going on in the backyard behind her house, but I'm in true Lindsay fashion, just completely fucking ignoring it and hoping there no, there no human interaction comes of it. And then I see this man, this probably like 40 something year old man, like leaning over the back fence. And I'm like, 
um, rinsing out this bucket. And then he's like, hey. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> and I look at him. And he's like, are you who's moving into this house? And I was like, no, it's my sister. And he was like, oh, well, my daughter accidentally just uh, threw a ball over the fence. Like, is it okay if I come around and get it? And I was like, no, I'm like, I'll get it. I'll get it. You don't have to do that. Like it is, I don't even see a ball anywhere in the yard. Um, but it's like under back in the way overgrown weeds. And I'm like, oh, no, no, I'll get it. I'll get it. It's cool. Not scary foliage. And he's like, oh, okay. Like, why would he? It's quite a thing to walk around. Um, you have to walk around the whole block. And so I got it. And um, I guess all the neighbors have been thinking that Amanda and I are the same person because we're there at different times a lot of the time. Like I'll be there working on her house and she'll like not be there yet because she'll be at work or something. Um, but like one of us has tattoos, one of us is shorter. I drive a black Bronco, she drives a white Bronco, so it's probably just enough to fuck with them. And I've been wearing glasses a lot too. Um, I was like, no, I'm, I wanted to be like, I'm the evil one. <laughs> black Bronco, she's the white, good Bronco. Like, you know, I'm the one that, you know, doesn't talk to people and she's the bubbly outgoing one and I was like so the sister sister the good the nice sisters the the one that's gonna live here um well, he was he was not a, a bad looking man but then I went inside and I was like Amanda I met your neighbor like and he was not a bad looking man and she was like hmm I wonder if I can meet him so she came outside <laughs> she came outside and and we were like, I wonder if he even really lost that ball or if he just wanted to see who was moved in. Cause he was like asking me all these questions about her and and uh, he just seemed really interested and he was moving in, which is fair. It's, it's like, every, all those houses are so close together. Like you're really gonna see who's your who your neighbor is. And, and she was like, how could, Cause it, like the back fence was really high and with all these, all this foliage growing over it. And I, and I was like, how, how can we like get you to meet him? Cause he was like, oh, I'll come over late. Like I want to meet her. Like her name is Amanda. Okay. And I was like, uh-huh. Like he was really interested. And she was like, how can I talk to him now? Like what can we throw over? What can we throw over the back fence? Um, I'd be like, oh no, we accidentally threw something over the back fence. And like, I look around her yard and there are like some buckets and there are these two plastic Anirondack chairs. <laughs> I was like, we should throw one of the chairs over him. be like, oh no, we, we accidentally, <laughs> our chair went over the fence. <laughs> and I don't know, it just struck me as like really funny because of, how <laughs> probably hit this kid or something. I've never seen a chick over there. I think he might be a single dad. But just like, how obvious that would be. Like, can you toss it back over here? Or like, sh should Amanda walk around and go get it? <laughs> it was just the thought of me. Like, oh, we were, oh, oh no, like we were throwing the chairs around and one of them accidentally went over the back. And then I guess she was interested and so she started, you know, her come here, come hither mating ritual of like playing R&B music on her little like Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> I was like, Amanda, I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> and then we decided to go play Blackjack. <laughs> but when you leave us alone, we will get into shit. That's why with the buckets, I was like, hmm, probably not the buckets. I'd rather have wasted this money than not. 
If I were a true adult, I would have never bought the buckets or agreed to it. There was something about seeing how much alcohol went into that one that really like put the nail in the coffin. I was like, oh, fuck, this is not a good idea. And it's like, I don't have to drink the whole thing. I'm like, bullshit. Like, I've seen her not, not like us be out and her not finish drinks. I know she can do that. But if we're sitting there playing blackjack, she's having fun. There's a bucket in front of her. Girl gonna drink the bucket. Lead the horse to water. You can't make it stop drinking. Isn't that how the saying goes? Anyway, thank you for hanging out with me this morning and listening to my silly little stories. I will see you again soon.